republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Guns. Self-defense. Conceal carry. This is the Patriot Defense Podcast. From the war room in Idaho's high desert, here's your host, Todd Eccles. And I am back once again. It is Wednesday morning, and I am tucked away in the war room somewhere in the high desert of southern Idaho. And as I'm sitting here looking around the war room here, and man, this place is uh, this place is a mess. It's time to clean this up. Uh, unfortunately, uh, in fact, sometimes that's why I drag out getting the podcast done. Fortunately, the war room has no air conditioning in it, and it is just kind of a hot little box. Um, by the time I uh, uh, you know can get out here, like in the summertime, unless I wake up really early in the morning, um, it's just it's just hot out here. And unfortunately, it's kind of mid morning, and so it's warming up rather quick. But I don't spend a lot of time in here, is what I meant to say. And I come in here for during my classes, and I grab stuff out that I need, and I take it to the classroom. And I use it in my classes, whether it's cleaning kits or ammo or guns or whatever, targets, you name it. And uh, then I have to clean the classroom back up. So I just bring everything over and I set it on my podcasting table. Um, and this is where and this is where it sits uh, until I clean it up. Usually when it starts getting cooler out, when it starts, uh, you know, I said starts getting cold out, I spend lots more time out here reloading, separating brass. Um, you know, stuff like that. And then I'll come out and clean it, but it is in shambles right now. I've got, I mean, I'm looking around here. I've got targets. I have got, uh, empty, uh, snack wrappers. And I don't, I don't know where those come from. You know, I'm supposed to be on a pretty uh, decent diet for my running, but, uh, I got some snack wrappers out here. I have got some, per, say, uh, protective safety equipment for Sims rounds out here. I got some running stuff right there. I got a bunch of gun cleaning stack of gun cleaning kits and, 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 um, uh, gun cleaning solvent and oil that you know, I never use for myself, but I use for my classrooms. I got a couple of rifle, uh, cases, uh, laying on the table here, a bunch of brass, some tools, a whole pile of ammo. And I even got a pair of snowshoes. I'm not quite sure what those are doing in here, but they're in here. So that's, it's a, it's a mess right now. And if anyone has ever been in the, the, the war room, you'll know, man, I got, it's like, I got a bunch of stuff just shoved into one little space and, uh, there is just, it's full. I'm kind of ashamed of it. I probably need to go through and get rid of some stuff in here, but. I don't know. Someday, someday we'll get it taken care of, uh, preferably when it's snowy and there's a blizzard. So, um, kind of, uh, I meant to be out here a lot earlier this morning, but school has started in my uh, neck of the world. Um, and it is, uh, we are, we have a nine-year-old, uh, that is in school. Uh, my high school, my, my high school age son, uh, he did have a senior year that he needed to finish this year, but he went out and challenged his GED and got that all done. Cause he was pretty set on not going, having to go back to high school this year. So, uh, he has essentially graduated. He, he went throughout his junior year and decided he was going to do that. So he got his GED. Uh, on his first try and the dude's good to go and he's got an adult job now which is fun to see him have to roll out of bed at five o'clock every morning and go to that it's good for him um but anyhow I, i've got a nine-year-old and we are doing something a little different with him me and his mom sat down and we decided we'd get him in some online schooling and so i've been inside trying to figure out this computer they sent him try to figure out how to get him logged on and teach him how to use it and i don't understand it his mom understands it better than me but she's actually at her day job right now so there we go i am firearms instructor and online school slash parent teacher overseer that's what i am this year that's what i'm going to be this school year so uh my life got kind of turned upside down a little bit my, my schedule got turned upside down a little bit so hopefully he's in there getting all the school work done he's nine uh want to take any bets on what he's doing do you think he's getting his school work done or do you think he's or do you think he's playing a video game i bet he's playing a video game i don't know well i'll see shortly when i go back inside so um 
But that's not why you tune into the podcast, I guess. Maybe it is. Maybe you like hearing some personal details of my life. I will tell you that we are melting again. We are melting again here. Um, we're at Patriot Defense Headquarters. It is pushing 100, 100 degrees again. And I am so done with these temperatures. I am ready for it to cool off. I am ready for fall. Send the snow. Send the frost. I am over it. I am over it. I am done with this. Now, fortunately, I will be heading out of town here in the next little bit. And I actually I, I have a crazy race that I've assigned up for, 100K. And I'll be heading off to the Oregon coast for that. And I've been checking religiously, checking the temperatures and the weather forecast for the days that I'm going to be over there. And it's supposed to be a high, get this, a high of 65 degrees. I might need a hoodie. It's going to be cool. It's going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. You could take this hot stuff and you could just, I don't care where you put it, but I'm done with it. I do not need it. I do not want it anymore. Um, <clears throat> some, sorry, could clear my throat. Allergies, man. Allergies are crazy and they started harvest around here. So that's my excuse um, for coughing into the microphone. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, if you, well, I don't care where you are, if local or not local, if you follow me on Facebook, you can see that lately over the past couple of days, I have um, went ahead and posted up uh, the registration links and stuff for my um, men's and women's shooting groups that I do every year. They start in February, they go throughout November. Now I posted these about two and a half months earlier than normal. I did that for a couple of reasons uh, and they are good reasons. I, I hope, fingers crossed. Um, I have been getting a lot of requests for uh, people saying that they are interested in signing up for one of these groups um, and they're like well I, I want to sign up for it so let me know when it's posted and I thought well strike while the iron is hot I'm just going to go ahead and update uh, all these links and go ahead and <clears throat> put it put it up and ready to roll right now so I did in fact I got one more to release I'll probably release that one tomorrow so the goal is I can get people to get signed up a little early or we can get them filled, get them planned, and we can have a good next year. I guess the ultimate goal would be that I get them filled up so early that I have to do what? That I have to open up a few more. That would be absolutely fantastic, and I do appreciate everyone's support. Now, if you do not live in the area, let's, I'm going to throw this out there. If you do not live in the area and you'd like to be part of the men's group or the women's group, and let me know. We can figure something out. Now, that doesn't mean you have to drive here. But if you've got a range near where you are, I would be more than happy to come up with, with some way of doing it to where I set up some online stuff. I, I, I would you know sign, uh, I would send you drills and things that you could do every week when you would normally be at class. And if you would like to look into something like that, let me know. I have done that before in the past. I had a lady that wanted to come down and take the classes, and she could not make it. She lived out of town. And so she got a hold of me and we set it up and I just made videos uh, for her of what we did in the class. And she would go ahead and go to the range and practice them and report back with her results and send me videos. And it was lots of fun to do this kind of online. Now, um, if you're interested in something like that, by all means, let me know. Uh, get a hold of me. You can call me. You can text me. Area code 620-794-6223. It's area code 620-794-6223. Now, let's talk about this for just a minute. Um, I kind of threw out there that lately, every now and then, I've been receiving, like, gifts from, like, listeners that just, like, they, they, they show up. They show up in my mailbox. They... Um, and I have received some more. I have, and it must be because I talk about not cleaning my gun so much or enough that I have had someone actually mail me a gun cleaning kit. And that just so happens to be one of the gun cleaning kits on the counter or on the uh, podcast table here. Uh, it's, I'm not doing video, so I can't show you. But uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty nice little kit. Now, we'll see. <laughs> No guarantees. We'll see how soon it is that I actually open it up and use it. But that might be uh, that might be a hint that maybe I should uh, take some time and clean some of my firearms. But uh, this this one actually came from. Uh, let's see, where's the? Let me let me look here. See if I can reach that. It's a long ways away. 
came from Josh in uh, Tennessee. So, uh, Josh, uh, he didn't leave a last name, and that's kind of a personal information anyhow. But uh, Josh from Tennessee, he is a listener to the podcast, and he shot me. uh, He was feeling kind of bad for, probably not for me, but for my firearms, and he sent me this gun cleaning kit so i uh i best i best get it clean so uh thank you josh i will uh use it and we will see how that goes we'll see if my guns shoot better and maybe it'll help make me more accurate uh and it's also going to represent me as a person that uh, cleans their guns and you're going to ruin my street kit my my street cred josh that's what you're going to do you're going to ruin my street cred um let's talk about this so i um oh First of all, I always like to touch base because I always get new listeners after permit classes. So I did have a permit class last weekend. Uh, it was a great class. A bunch of really great shooters in that class. Um, fantastic shooters. In fact, I had one guy that, that put all 100 rounds into, which I know people can do this. I mean, I've seen it all the time, but I don't see it in my permit classes per se. Um, there's a guy, a gentleman that put all his rounds consistently through a hole about the size of a golf ball which was really good for that permit class. It didn't matter if I had him shoot fast. It didn't matter if I had him shoot slow. The dude tore it up in class. He tore it up. He was very quiet. He was about it. He was very humble about it. And he did absolutely fantastic. Um, in fact, all the shooters in that class did great. And it was very fun. Uh, it was a very fun class. It was very hot and everyone was very patient because we got hot again, folks. Um, but it was very, very enjoyable. So, uh, if you are, if you just took that class and you are a new podcast listener, I'd like to welcome you. Um, and I do appreciate all your support. So I've started lately. It seems to be kind of a thing that I've been doing here lately, but I want, I've been wanting to delve into, you know, we always talk about political stuff and we'll always get into a little bit of political stuff, but I also want to talk about some different drills and stuff that I have people do in class. And I actually had a gentleman, he'll be listening to this class. He's, he's taken a couple private classes with me to fine-tune some stuff and he's also a member of the uh the men's shooting group uh his name is jeremy jeremy's listening hey jeremy give you give you your shout out but uh he came in and and he wanted to fine-tune his draw and fine-tune a few different things and one of them was shooting faster um he 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 commented on um some other people in the class and he goes man they shoot really fast they shoot really good and they're really accurate how do they do this how do they do this and he wanted to learn how to pair shots two three four five six shots up right so let's talk about that so i've i mentioned it before and a lot of people uh kind of roll their eyes and i know they kind of think it's all weird it's like new age gun stuff but i'm going to tell you right now that when you shoot like when you're shooting not even when you're shooting but your brain your brain likes rhythm and when your you when your brain tells you to do something and 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 you can give it a rhythm your 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 body will comply your brain will comply and 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 it works out well but you you've got to be able to instruct yourself and your brain on what you want done okay so we have we would call you know rhythm drills or shooting rhythm drills or developing shooting rhythm drills right and that works for everything once you can uh, hone in and master the just a basic shooting at the target rhythm drills you can do what then you can take those rhythm drills and you can apply them to to multiple target acquisitions left right left right you know keep going right uh, it's it's once you master the basic then you can move on and apply it to everything so what do rhythm drills encompass rhythm drills encompass testing well it's good to have so you can shoot fast but it also encompasses testing your grip your stance and your trigger press at different speeds so you may think well you know you can get out there and waylay on the trigger you can get out there and slap the shit out of that trigger but your shots aren't going to be accurate so if we stand at the table and we shoot very slowly and we and we shoot very deliberately right you should always shoot deliberately but you slowed way down and you're taking your time and you can stack shot upon shot upon shot that's absolutely fantastic but now we need to grow just a little bit more we need to learn how to do what we need to learn how to shoot faster and more accurate so then we start at we have to do that we have to focus on what we have to focus on the trigger reset and shooting off the wall 
trigger reset and shooting off the wall. How do we achieve that? How do we get that? We also have to use our stance and our grip to do what? To enable the firearm to, once you take that shot, that those sights need to set back down immediately onto the target or where you want the bullet to impact, where you took that first shot, right? So you have to work on having what we call a flat shooting gun. You do that through grip and you do that through stance. You learn how to control the trigger after every time you fire a shot and you master that reset, you master that trigger reset, that is going to get you to the point where you can start pairing shots together. You can start stacking, you know, pairing shots together, two shots, three shots, four shots, right? Through rhythm drills. So we need to think here. Let's, 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 you know, one of the drills, in fact, I'm probably going to have my men's group do this tonight. Um, just because uh, I think it's, you know, people sometimes they, they learn stuff, but they don't know how to put it all together. And that's what we're going to do tonight at my men's group. Um, so you want to learn how to take shots at different distances. Okay. So you have, you have a slow, you're going to shoot slow. Um, you can slow down for targets at distance at, at a farther distance. And when you do that, you should get about one shot per second. You can speed it up to where you are about, you know, it's a middle, like middle speed, middle distance, seven to 15, and you should get one shot for every half second. And then the next one, uh, you're gonna be close, zero to seven, every um, zero to seven and every shot you should take should be at a quarter second, right? A one shot per quarter second. Um, so then you got, you got, uh, you know, uh, distance, middle, and then close. And that's the way you should look at it. And how do you do that? Tell you what, go ahead and load up five, six rounds in your gun, right? And we're gonna, we're just gonna, for the sake of me explaining it, we're gonna assume that you have your grip, your stance, and your trigger press and reset and all that good stuff down, right? You have to have those fundamentals down for this. We're gonna assume that you do. So let's start off with with slow for distance shooting, one shot per second. And when I say slow and for distance means the further away your target is. The, the more the slower you should go and the and and the more accurate you want to be because you have to slow down because it's either a difficult target or it's a distance target from further away so slow down take your time make sure you're accurate so one shot per second so how do we do that we can do i'm trying i'm trying to think the best way to do this so you can go start off uh, and when you're shooting explain this to yourself uh, to say this to yourself this is a mantra in your head uh 1000 or 1001 1002 and on the ones and the twos that's where you're going to take the shot 1000 so it's going to be 1000 bang one one 1000 excuse me 1000 bang 1000 bang 1000 bang that's one shot per second learn to coordinate your rhythm from your brain to your trigger finger right and it's a whole dance you do with your gun take the shotgun recoils you're on the trigger and you're going kind of slow 1001 1002 1003 1004 1005 1006 right now you still want to get groups you do not want to be just you know slinging rounds all over the place right you still want to maintain a good group um and then once you master that, so we talk about when you are learning a skill, I've mentioned it before, but I love this analogy. Uh, when you are mastering a skill, you're gonna start with that. Get good at that. Push the envelope with that. Try to, when you get that down, try to go a little faster. Step to, step a little closer to that cliff, right? Until you do what? Until you, you fumble, until, until you drop the ball, right? Until you fall off the cliff. Then you get back up, you step back a little bit and go, that's my limit, I'm gonna push from there. Once you master, one shot per second, then you can go to one shot every half second. Now the mantra there, instead of 1001, 1002, 1003, which is one shot per second, you are gonna go to one and two and three and four and five. You're speeding it up a little bit. One and two and three and four and five and six. You're gonna speed it up. Once you master that, remember, push as close to the edge of the cliff as you can once you fall come back master it from there then you and you still want these groups you can speed up to one two three four five six that's going to be about one shot every quarter second you're going to do that that is your goal or go as fast as you can 
um, as fast as you can run the gun, but still be accurate, right? That's what you want to do. So we start um, we start for the distance targets or the difficult targets, one shot per second. Then we can speed up, right, to the, to the not the slow speed, but to like the middle speed, seven to 15. It's one shot every half second. And then we go close, zero to seven, every sh uh, one shot per quarter second. And you still want to do what? You want to combine the grip, the stance, the trigger press, all that stuff into one to maintain a flat shooting gun, create that rhythm in your brain that you are following at the end of your finger. You think it in your brain. In, uh, you know, if you got to thank it, if you got to say it, you do what you need to do. You, you, you put it up in your brain and it comes out the, your, your finger to where you, that's how fast you're pressing that trigger, right? You got to connect the two. You got to make them work. Your brain likes rhythm. Your brain and your body likes rhythm. You may not be able to dance, but you can do this. It just takes practice. You do all this stuff, and, and you need to maintain decent groups, right? We are shooting defensively, so your groups might get a little bit bigger. But once you can do all this, once you can do the slow, the, 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 the middle, mid speed, and then the, the close speed, so what, what, uh, you know, what we want to do once we can master that, right, then... You're like, well, what else? What else can I do next? Well, then let's let's focus on being way more accurate. Hopefully, you're already accurate, but let's focus on tightening those groups up even more. Even if it's a pretty tight group, challenge yourself, push yourself. You will never grow if you do not challenge yourself. You will never grow if you do not challenge yourself. So keep moving forward, keep pressing forward, and you will only get better over time. That that's honestly, you will only get better over time. Now, I also had a few people text me. Um, I'm a very easy guy to get a hold of. Uh, you can call me. You can text me. Area code 620-794-6223. It's area code 620-794-6223. But I had a gentleman get a hold of me. There are actually a couple people. And they say, okay, Todd, because, you know, we got ammo is decent price right now, but we are going into an election. And I would imagine that it is just going to go up. And so people are looking, you know, we're also, we're, we're still warm yet, but we are not too far away from the winter season, the snow, the whatever. And so people are starting to ask me, Todd, what do you use for, uh, like, do you use any kind of like laser train or anything like that? And this is not a sponsored ad. Nobody has sponsored me to do anything on this podcast. <laughs> I sponsor myself. And so this isn't a sponsored ad. So don't think I'm just throwing it out there because someone's paying me because I am not. I really like out of all the laser trainers because it's small, it's easy, it's compact, it's simple. It deals with one little thing that you mount onto your firearm and an app on your phone. It's and a, it, You could use a light switch for a target. It doesn't matter. I use the Mantis X, and I, I use it personally, and I loan it out to a bunch of my students at the same time. So if you're looking for something, that's what I recommend. Now, don't take my word for it. Go check it out. I've, I, you know, I, feel, I do feel like this is an ad, and it is, even though I'm not sponsored for it. Go check it out. Uh, find it. See if it works for you. Um, ask around. Watch some videos. I know there's some YouTube videos out there with it. I love the thing. And that's, I, in fact, I probably need to upgrade. I've still got the very beginning, a uh, very first version of it, right, uh, that, 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 that they've ever come out with. And it still works. It's still going. Now, I think they've got like five versions since then. So maybe um, maybe before this winter, I'll buy the upgraded version and see if there's any difference. But I'll tell you what, version one, the one I have, is still working absolutely fantastic. So uh, I, I will say, you know, check that out. I just thought I'd throw that out there because there seemed to be a lot of interest in that lately and kind of what I liked and, and what I preferred. So uh, should we get into the political stuff now? I don't, I kind of got just some, I got some political stuff. I, I wrote down some stories and some sound clips and stuff. And we do need to focus on that stuff because they always want the guns. They always want the guns, both the, the Democrats and the Republicans. They want your firearms. I don't care. There's very few Republicans that will, honestly say i don't want your firearms and mean it i don't trust the democrats obviously i do not trust the republicans everyone wants your guns and they want their guns why because just like i've said before it's all about the control now i found this guy um he is an attorney of some sorts he's is tom grieve i think is his name g-r-i-e-v-e -E, and he's got some stuff on youtube and uh, I've got kind of a little bit of a clip that I that I um, played here, but he was talking to I don't even know. Well, let's find out. I'm gonna look up real quick. 
let me look here. Uh, uh, Scott Allen is a state rep, um, but I don't know from what state. Uh, I'm going to find out real quick. Uh, let's see. Wisconsin. Uh, Scott Allen is a uh, state rep out of as a Republican state rep out of Re, uh, Wisconsin, and he went ahead and and he interviewed him and he was asking him some questions and I it was a super long interview and I didn't I just took a couple little clips and he talks about what he thinks is coming and uh, you know I think we all know this but this is also coming from the inside so I thought I'd play a little clip and uh, let's take a listen. Representative Allen, thanks for coming in today. Absolutely. So let's go big picture, and then we're going to get into the spicy ones. Where do you see the Second Amendment going in five years, 10 years, 20 years? The Second Amendment is always at risk. We know that there is a uh, large and vocal opposition to the Second Amendment, and they, uh, they are always coming after it. Uh, so we have to be ever vigilant to protect it. I have a feeling just based upon... Uh, times and circumstances, where we've been, what we've seen over the last handful of years, that I, I think America's most violent years are in front of us. Um, probably in the next five years, we're going to see violence like we've never seen before. Our streets aren't going to be safe. Um, and I think because of that, I think we're going to see a significant push um, to impose more gun control laws. So Second Amendment advocates need to be strong and need to be courageous. So, uh, sorry, I was kind of messing with my headphones and my mic for a minute. Uh, so, you know, this guy, right? I don't know if I necessarily has the inside scoop, but I think we all feel it coming, right? We all feel that coming that I think that we think we're in a bad place now. I think it's only going to get worse. And, you know, you can only push a people so far. I mean, I'm not trying to encourage a violence, but whether it's you or me causing the violence or someone else, I think that it's going to be there. And, uh, I, you know, it's kind of not Second Amendment related necessarily, but there was this guy that just came out on TikTok and YouTube, and there's a bunch of articles written about him. His name, what written about him, his name was Oliver Anthony, and he just came out with this, this song. Um, it's called The Rich Men from Richmond. Uh, from the rich men from north of richmond or something like that you need to go check the song out i obviously it's a podcast i can't play it or they'll i want to say i'd love to tell you that they demonetize this podcast but it's not monetized to begin with i mean freaking it should be but it's not monetized to begin with so they'll just take it down i don't want to run that risk but you should take a minute and look him up on social media you can just uh, oliver anthony you'll you'll find his song um you'll find his clips everywhere he came out of from nowhere. He's a off the grid guy. He's got some acreage. He lives off the grid, and he wrote this in front of his tent where he lives off the grid. Like this is where he wrote this song, right? And it's raw, and it's full of raw emotion, and it's there. It's fighting words. I mean, he calls out everyone. They they tax us to no end, and 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 they keep kicking kicking us down, and it it really kind of took a hold. And I kind of hope that. It will continue to take a hold, and it's this kind of thing that will fire people up. And as they push, 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 as gas prices go up again, right, they want to do what? They want to take our guns. They want to take our our, our, our reason to fight away from us. They want to take the weapons that we have to defend ourselves from essentially them, and they want to be able to do whatever they want to. And I think as you listen to this song and you see how everyone – attaches themselves to the song and share it and talk about it and everyone is getting to the point where they are just getting pushed too far they're getting pushed to the edge and i honestly think you could see violence in the near future sometime i think you could see that coming to our street it's going to be a different america i think um, but this is exactly why we need to keep our firearms and they want to take our firearms both the republicans and the democrats no one's safe anymore Nobody's safe anymore. I know people that have run for the Republican Party and, and gotten in. And you know what? They're still good people. Don't get me wrong, but they've changed. They've changed. And 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 I, I swore to you at the very beginning that I didn't think they would, but they have changed. And it just takes a little bit of power, and it goes to your their heads, and they become all-powerful. And, and they just – they don't – 
follow necessarily follow their beliefs or follow what their uh, constituents want them to that they that they promise. That's why I have a hard time with voting because you can say one thing and go do something else. Don't trust them. I don't care if you trust the person before they're a politician. Once they're a politician, do not trust them. Do not trust them because bad things are coming, people. Bad things. And then you can see this as they try to gather, get the guns. They try to take the firearms. Um, they try harder and harder and harder. It's coming quicker and faster, and they want them. And now you've got uh, Republicans doing just what the NRA has done. Republicans are doing what? They, they, are, they are voting for these things. They are voting for these gun control bills. They are trying to meet in the middle and compromise, right? You can't meet in the middle and compromise with anybody or anything and when they do that they're no better than the democrats the folks on the left right because they honestly don't care about you we have got to keep our firearms we've got to keep our guns we have got to pay attention to what's going on around us we've got to raise up our children raise up our kids and, and, and share with them the love of firearms not only the fun that it is to shoot them and hunt them and, but you, we need to teach them the history. Well, I just taught my my nine year old, and granted, he's a little he's a little uh, young, maybe, and obviously for him to learn this in school. But we just talked to him about the Boston Tea Party. We just told him about that. We're teaching him these things, right? But we need to continue to do so because they aren't teaching that stuff in school. And when they don't teach that stuff in school, then nobody thinks that it can happen. They want to erase that and erase that history from us, right? They want to create a new history, and their new history is a world without firearms, right? A world that bows down to the climate change and Greenpeace advocates and bows down to Mother Earth and drives around electric cars and lives in smart cities and lives in places where you have social credit scores. That's what they want the youth to know. That's what they want people of this country, the youth of this country, the future of this country to know. That's what they want them to think is normal so they can get away with it easier. And they've started off many, many years ago with the agenda of firearms are bad. Guns are bad. You chew that gun, the, that Pop-Tart into the shape of a, of a gun at snack time at school. That's bad. You can't do that. We're going to, you know, demerits for you. We're going to suspend you. We're going to expel you. We're going to send you home from school and we're going to have a stern talking with your parents, right? My son is doing online schooling, which is fantastic because he's here. He doesn't have to waste his time. We see what he's learning. Um, we can teach him other stuff that we need him to learn because this online schooling, if done properly by a motivated parent and child, is not taking him all day so we can teach him some practical skills. But I was listening to an open house the other day that, that, that where they were discussing this, and they said, now make sure... Make sure you have proper dress for school because they have Zoom meetings a couple times a week for like an hour. Like it's pretty basic, but make sure you are dressed properly. And I would imagine that means what? No guns on your hat. I would imagine that means no, no guns on your shirt, no political sayings, that kind of thing. Because it might make that person on the other end of that computer feel bad. It might make them scared. It might upset them. It might trigger them. Right, So this is absolutely ridiculous. But this is one of the ways that they get to your children. This is one of the things that they do, right? So we need to pay attention. We need to take back control. We need to educate our kids and talk to our kids about this new world that, they, that they're they trying to put forth upon them. And we need to teach them the things of the past. If you, I, I'm on a political rant now, folks, and I am, I am so sorry. I, I didn't mean to do that, but it's... As I see this, it's just it gets crazier and crazier and crazier. And then hearing this Scott Allen talk about how he can see violence in the streets in the next four or five years, right? This is it's going to be a changed world. I, I really think it is. So we need to pay attention. We need to support the Second Amendment. We need to pay attention to what's happening to it. We need to raise our family and our kids right. We need to prepare. Um, it is what it is. It's not supposed to be the prepper podcast, but we need to pay attention to what's going down. So. But on a lighter note, the podcast is over. <laughs>
So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed that today. I really uh, have enjoyed kind of talking about these different drills. And I, I honestly hope someone has taken these drills that I explain um, on on the podcast and they're taking them out and they're trying them out. And if you are, get a hold of me. Shoot me a text. Shoot, Give me a call. Say, I don't understand this. Can you explain it again? Or... Or you know, uh, I did it, and this and it worked. This is this this was this uh, were my results, and they worked. I do like to hear about stuff like that. So I mean, let me know. You can call me. You can text me. Area code six two zero seven nine four six two two three. It's area code six two zero seven nine four six two two three. And again, for those that have sent me stuff, which is just kind of a weird phenomena in itself. Um, thank you. I do appreciate the gun cleaning kit, and uh, I will put it to use. I'm not sure how soon, probably this winter, but I will. Uh, <laughs> I'll add it to the other pile of gun cleaning kits I have. Um, uh, yeah, so I do appreciate that. Uh, the best way you can uh, help support this podcast, though, is to uh, share it on social media, share it with your family, share it with your friends. I don't care where you share it, as long as you share it, it all helps. And hopefully, I will be back. Uh, Oh, let's see. Let's stay Wednesday. Hopefully, I'll be back middle of the week next week with another episode. I'll try to get one before I jet out of town for a few days and bask in the nice, cool, crisp, 65-degree um, oceanside weather. I am so looking forward to it. And uh, so I got my big race. Hopefully, I finish it. It is a 100K. So hopefully, I get that finished. Uh, if not, um, I'll get a DNF. But I will have lots of stories, I'm sure. And I'm sure you guys will hear about them. So you guys take care. Have a great week. If you're somewhere where it's warm, stay inside where it's cool. If it gets cool enough, go out, throw some lid down on range. Go out and work on your shooting rhythm drills. I'll talk to you later. Bye.